and wait for the car to drive past. Good morning, how are you guys doing? It is Sunday, it's about 11am and today we've got some bits and bobs shopping to do. Very very soon with my dearest mother we have also got a puppy to go and see and my next door neighbour who was just pulling up onto the drive brought home an eight week old puppy um, last night. We did wait for them to get home last night so we can go and see him and he is a cockapoo and he is the cutest little teddy bear in the world. I think by now you would have already seen a picture because I think I posted that yesterday? Yeah I did post that yesterday didn't I? And not to forget we have a list for the bits and bobs starting with hot chocolate because someone in this house goes through a lot of hot chocolate in a fairly short amount of time and then we have milk because someone in this house goes through a lot of milk for a lot of hot chocolates in a fairly short space of time. Uh, we have corned beef because I like corned beef sandwiches and then we have rubble bag. I don't really know what a rubble bag is. It's something to do with plants but I was just writing down as mum said and then it says that's all really and I think I wrote that down as well. Oh there's mum by there. <laughs> that's the second time that as I've talked about someone they walk past the window outside. Tomorrow is also a very special day in both my head and on my Facebook memories because it marks two years since I uploaded my first ever video on YouTube. I don't know I can't really say time's gone quickly or slowly considering I was in a completely different mental place when I started this channel two years ago. Things weren't looking very good for me. So I am going to look back at my first ever videos but I'm going to save that until next week's vlog. But before all of that I am going to play a clip from about 10 minutes ago when mum found out that Pentatonix had released a new video for their song, their cover Havana by Camilla Cabello. Uh, Cab Camilla, Camilla, Cabello. Camilla Cabello? She has listened to the song but she hasn't seen the video and I said if you can find the video on the internet you can watch it. Mum wants to listen to the new Pentatonix song that they've just released now yesterday called Havana and I've said to mum if you can load it up you can listen to it. So what you need to do now is find the internet. So do any of these icons by here look like the internet? Don't worry about the spacebar. Spacebar only pauses the songs. So oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. You said if I could get it, I could away. listen to it. Okay, again, don't worry about the spacebar for now. Where have I got to? Penta. So if I use tonics. Um. Slash. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Don't, don't, uh. don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I love, I love I'm gonna you. Get it. I love you with internet stuff. It cracks me up. I got it. I got it. Oh my god, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said I could listen. Literally to literally just relies on like the arrows right here in the space bar. <laughs> right. What's the reaction? So that's not right, is it? Okay. Let's go back to Google a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, do not worry about the space bar for now. Okay, now press the space bar. I'm kidding, do not press the space bar. Okay, just type wherever you want to listen to now. You said I could listen oh. to it, I got uh, it! Oh! You found it! Found it. Hey. Where's it gone? James! What's gone wrong, man? I don't know. Hang on. Funnily enough, after all the times you pressed the space bar, all you have to do then was press the space bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, what happened? Okay. I'm not gonna pant her, man, because she's just about to jump in the shower. <laughs> you did it, man. I Good did job. It. I did I uh, pressed the space bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, did it! You better tell me. I did say if you could find it, you can listen to it. Ain't it weird that it's such a bright day and it's such a blue sky, on, yet it is literally bitter cold. Okay. Well, thank you, Mum. Basically, fingertips and foot. Foot tips. It is absolutely freezing. Absolutely freezing, yeah. There's a scarf in here now. Yeah, that's one thing I need to pick up. I actually lost my scarf last week. Yeah, I left my scarf in a house that I went into. 
and I don't do too very well in the cold. So we're gonna get some pots for out the front. I got them, they're on the wall. I just A 20 pack of voila! <laughs> yeah, yeah, all what I'm does that actually say? Viola. Vi Viola. Get one of them and some soil and I got those little daffs. What hot chocolate shall we have, honey? Yeah, go with the galaxy, yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Seeing that, we've never had Maltesers before. Mm. Wanna try that? Yeah. Do you like Maltesers? I could try it. Yeah, let's go with those. Oh, that is it. We want to get something for next door neighbours. Puppy? Puppy. Age going eight week old. Cockapoo, and we might go and see him later on. We're gonna get him this play pack here. I wish I caught your reaction then when you press this because you didn't <laughs> realize the squeak. <laughs> Make me jump. So we're gonna get him this. Yeah. I would love to get this. It's a Chewbacca toy. It yeah. looks so innocent, but I think because it's a bottle inside, it's they would bottle, drive it? her. Oh, it's a bottle crunch. It would drive Linda insane. Maybe when he gets a bit older then, he learns how to groom. <laughs> we could get him this. <laughs> I think this is ages three and above. Oh, no, hang on a minute, mum. It's for dogs 18 and over. So I don't know, God knows how old that is in dog is. Mum thinks I put the dog treat in the back of the car with everything else. But the dog treat's actually by here. Do you want to sit in there in a minute or are you coming with me? Come on, come on. 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 Come on, why do I look suspicious? I don't know. I'm in next if you change your mind the keys in there. Right. Yeah, I'll I'll come with you. You coming? Yeah. Damn it. The shop we just went in then. Oh yeah. We finished that shop <laughs> quicker than you would finish a hot chocolate. <laughs> High five to that man. Okay, don't really leave me hanging here because you know it's that person. <laughs> High five to that man. I was really it. hoping I'd make you jump, but I couldn't really do it unless you came in and sat there. What happened there? I didn't put the squeaker in the thing. I put it in my coat instead. I was like, I was thinking then, I was thinking, there's no way to make this so that you'll actually jump. I probably did when I picked it up. I made you jump all the first time. We tried to just get him on. We'll... We'll try another time. Before the end of this vlog. James, stop putting faces. I can't help it, Mum. I'm now hell bent on making you jump. <laughs> <laughs> I said to you, you look suspicious earlier on. <laughs> Soon as you said that, I was thinking, oh god, she can see the <laughs> No! You just know, you can sense it, can't you? Yeah! Because you walked in, I was hoping you would sit there, and then as you go to sit down, I was going to squeeze it, and I have no doubt in my mind you would have jumped. And then you were like, do you want to come to next, James? And I was like, no, not really. I actually just want you to sit down a minute. And then I was thinking, oh, should I just say sit down and we'll have a nice talk a minute? I thought, no, that seems really weird. Cool, that didn't work. What should we do now? If I go to town with mum, you will fully deny this. But we spend about an hour just standing there talking to people that you know. Let me tell you everything that's happened to my life in the past 10 years that I haven't seen you. Get lost! Starting with the day after the last time I saw you. <laughs> and that pretty much brings us up to date. So now I'm going to go and tell the next person that I see, which is actually standing over by there. <laughs> I know that person over there too, let's go and tell them. You little fibber, Jane. I've seen Superfruit's new video. Yeah. No, honestly, they have got a new video. I just seen it on Instagram. Ah! What have I done? I tried again, <laughs> Mum. You didn't jump. I you even got tried. me with my hand in my bum. <laughs> I even tried to throw you off that time as well. Oh, yeah. he's so lovely. He is, Linda. And I got some with ham chicken in. Oh. So it's quiet. Oh, look at those little tiny ones. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's awake. That's lovely. And a little, they like those. He's going to be spoiled. So he's Harry now, isn't he? Harry. Harry. Harry, Harry. 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 That's a Welsh, so Welsh version, said, yeah. Welsh version. That's what the girl said. Harry it? with an eye. Harry with an eye. Look, uh, I was looking for, but I didn't. <laughs> look at you. I just know. I didn't go into town, I wanted yeah, to I see you. I see I you. Plenty. Look I see you. Only 90s kids will understand why this is about to become the best snack ever in the world. This might be a slight over-exaggeration. 
The homemade Lunchable. Which, when you think about it, it's just crackers and ham. So it's in no way going to fill me up. I'm going to have some porridge as well. But Lunchables, I don't know if they still sell them nowadays. These were the thing back in the day when I was in school. I don't think I had them every day. I think they were just like a treat every now and then. But I think they were just like a very standard meal. I can't think if they did like many different variations, like flavours, as in with crisps, it's loads of different flavours. I think Lunchables were just one standard lunch. And there was that little bit of cheese you could put it in there as well. I actually want to Google now Lunchables. And to wash it down, I also have the biggest cup of coffee imaginable in the world. Again, it's probably a slight over-exaggeration. I've just Googled Lunchables and there is a lot of different flavours, so I'm guessing they still sell them to this day and obviously, they've come up with a lot more ideas, but I have managed to find the original ones, just the ham and cheese ones. Here we go, this is where I was on about. So you've got the ham, the cheese, and the bread. So I'm gonna take a trip down memory lane now and enjoy these homemade ones. What is this by here? Pepperoni pizza? I don't remember this one. All right, I just finished my homemade Lunchables, minus the cheese. And soon, Paul and Tristan are gonna be popping over. I just spoke to them, and Tristan plays for a football team, which is literally five minutes around the corner. So I said, yeah, definitely pop over for a bit. We haven't seen you in about two weeks. And during the time that I was ill with all this throat infection business, which in a nutshell, from about the 8th of January until about two or three days ago, I didn't want to hark on about it too much because it's literally all that's been on my mind for so long. It's literally the only thing I could think about was just how rough I was feeling, where I had tonsillitis for a week and then I was better for about five days. It was actually just before the Speak Out game. That's when I was better for about three or four days. And then afterwards I came down with tonsillitis again. And I had that for about, I think it was about 13, 14 days. And then once it had all gone, went back to the doctors. They said, you don't have any infections um, in your throat. There's nothing that we can sort of treat now. We can give you antibiotics. Although your throat does look pretty inflamed. Um, so I had to have a mouthwash, which I used for about a week. And all in all, seven weeks later, here I am. And what I wanted to say was, all that time, I literally spent just playing on my PlayStation. So I didn't do much. I kind of feel like now, my brain just needs time to like mentally rev back up and start getting back into reality. Obviously I was working as well, but fortunately this time of year, it is fairly quiet. So they're gonna pop over in about half an hour for a catch up and a coffee, and in the meantime, I am gonna play some Star Wars Battlefront 2, which I have absolutely loved since I pre-ordered it back in November. And speak of the devil, he's just come on to, his ears must have been burning. Paul, your ears were burning, he's just come on the PlayStation now. Bonjour, hello, you all right? Your ears must have been burning. I was just talking about you on the vlog. Don't know if this will be interesting for the viewers, but something that I absolutely love doing. I'm playing Han Solo's son, and then Paul is on boss, who is one of the greatest bounty hunters in all of the universe. And we're basically playing like a 10 v 10 game, where they mark a target, and then, um, and then we kill him. Which, it's not that guy, I just, I wanted to kill Luke for some reason. Come on, Paul, let's get him. Get over here. Oh, was he? Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. I couldn't get away. Stop! No, okay, I wasn't facing the right way. I wanted to sing a song lyric. Because <laughs> I am 99... Oh, there we go, it's over. 99% sure I fully charged this battery overnight. Don't worry, man, we'll get the next game. Right, it is time to try this new hot chocolate that we got today. The Maltesers, and then it's about nine o'clock now, so I'm gonna do a bit of editing on this vlog, and then I've just looked on my YouTube now, and there's a few videos that I wanna watch before I go to bed, so I'm gonna do those two things, and then I'm probably going to get an early night. I've been going to bed about 10.30 every night, and then waking up about seven or eight, which I guess that's quite a lot of sleep. But before we end the vlog, let's see. No, I don't want to put the chocolate in first. I want to put the milk in first. Let's see what this hot chocolate tastes like. Mum's in the living room as well, watching something, so. 
we'll get here. Judgment too. You know they always say that if you're having trouble sleeping, you should watch something that you enjoy? Well, until recently, I've decided that I slightly disagree with that, because if you watch something you enjoy, then the idea is that you want to watch it and you don't want to fall asleep, so you're trying not to fall asleep. And then if you do, the next day you go on there and then you can't quite remember what parts you've watched and then you kind of re-watch it thinking, ah, did I watch this part? It's something I was actually thinking this morning because I literally had to watch about 20 minutes of the same program trying to figure out if I have already seen this or if I literally just dreamt it. Okay, it's a bit hot for starters. Yeah, it tastes like the honeycomb. I won't put the camera on you because you're quite tired. Hang on, wait, 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 I'll mirror your, um, your reaction. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice, James. Out of ten. I think you could put a bit more. How many pow How many scoops did you put in? Two scoops. Ah, I think you need three. Oh no, I did put three in. Sorry. Oh. Out of ten. Seven. More about the one in Weatherspoons. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Easy ten. <laughs> I'd give this a good, good eight. Good I'd eight. Definitely give the one in Weatherspoons a ten. Oh, that's beautiful. That's if right. you haven't tried them already, and Weatherspoons do the Belgian hot chocolate in your local spoons. Go get them, Floyd. Although I would still recommend going and getting one even if your name isn't Floyd, because they are absolutely incredible. Right, that is the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for bearing with us whilst I was getting back on the mend, but I am feeling a lot better now, and we look forward to the rest of the year for what's to come, with Canada coming up, and then the summer coming up, and then... Christmas coming up and then it's a new year and then oh, we're no. in 2019 <laughs> and then we do the cold season all over again and then we do the spring season all over again and then mm. we get ill and then we get tonsillitis four more times oh, and then it's the summer 2019. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again very very soon. Bye! Bye. James, stop putting faces! <laughs>